So, uh, when we talk about China, when people try want to go to China, so the first city uh, come to your head is is Beijing. Is our capital? It's a huge city. It has 22 million people. So this is International Night and uh, Hopkinton High School has a fantastic uh, foreign exchange program. So here we like to showcase the different cultures from the uh, students and their different backgrounds and uh, just, you know, uh, show the uh, population, the student population at HHS, what uh, these other kids uh, experience on a day-to-day -day basis in their native countries. And uh, you have any role here tonight? Uh, I'm in charge of the uh, Brazilian and Colombian table. I helped me, uh, prepare the food, make the posters, and uh, kind of set it all set it all up. And what kind of experience have you received being a Hopkins High School student? Did you receive by having foreign exchange students? Uh, well, I've definitely uh, improved my Spanish, uh, helping out the Colombian table. I've learned some Portuguese, and I also learned that uh, we're not as different as many people think we are. And what is your role in this whole thing? So myself, uh, Andy Longoria, and Laura Tice, uh, an internet, uh, world language teacher, and Andy, our liaison uh, at the level of recruiting the international students. We as a team bring in uh, each year 15 to 20 students from around the world that we feel like will create a strong cohort, bring diversity to Hopkinton High School, and give these students from around the world an opportunity to experience an American education. Uh, uh, experience and in, we, and in regards to my role I kind of uh, handle their visas and Homeland Security paperwork and things of that nature we we interview them we check in uh, where, where they were going to school make sure that they'll be strong fits for our community and then in the uh, late August we have an orientation welcome them to Hopkinton we've made some changes in the last couple of years creating an ambassador program where we're connecting Hopkinton High students some of which are behind me right now and really trying to build some friendships early on in the school year, going to events such as uh, apple picking or heading off to a haunted house or all going to an away football game, trying to make some longer, uh, stronger connections that perhaps the last few years we missed an opportunity. So this new program we're excited about, we're expecting to see the uh, results of that tonight. It's an opportunity for us to highlight our exchange program um, and the students as well. Uh, and also we have our student ambassador program. We have over 30 students here in Hopkinton that. Uh, work with our uh, students, our exchange students, and I, I think it's an opportunity for us to celebrate the whole program that we have. So the goal for tonight is just for our international students to showcase what they bring to our community and for the people in our community, our students at this school, to to get exposed to that, to get to meet these students, because they're here for the whole year, most for the most part. And uh, I want them to create those friendships. They see them in the hall, they now know who they are. And, and uh, I think that the international kids here take a lot of pride in what they're doing tonight, uh, and they put so much effort into it. So just for the other kids to see that and to see where they come. What, what kind of things uh, can we expect to see this evening? A lot of food. <laughs> I think that's what a lot of the students are most excited about. Uh, but there's a lot of food. They're going to do some um, presentations about where they're from, uh, lots of music being played, and just get to ask each other different questions. And, and a lot of the students here are looking to see how teenage life is in other countries. So I think that's kind of cool for them to make that comparison. And we also have a paper attorney here. They are excited. The, um, the Ambassadors Club is responsible for the production of tonight's event. And this is their first year. They have a just energy that, uh, and excitement that uh, comes with doing it for the first time. Yeah, there's a little anxiety on that, on that part, but there's also that excitement of really wanting to show their stuff and do the best they can. And I think that's what, that's what you see as far as their energy goes. Yeah. And that, that one exam is so important that will decide where you, go, where you are going to college. This is, this is a very, very uh, normal picture in China. There's uh, uh, students that get in line and get some lunch, and people are still starting. That's the main thing, is that they, they recognize that we have a program that's bringing the world to Hopkinton High School and, to, and bringing these people in to, to be part of our community, further increasing the diversity of our, of our population, student population, and bringing a different perspective that uh, maybe they might not hear if they were, they were in the classroom and you have a, a Chinese perspective of history, an Italian perspective of their history, as opposed to the US uh, perspective as is presented.